This is how you can record your screen using OBS Studio. So what you need to do, you want to make sure you go under the first scene. You want to make sure you go under sources and hit the plus sign. Choose display capture. Hit OK. Capture method, you can leave it to automatic. Display, this is where you're going to choose which screen you're going to actually record. If you have multiple screens, which is what I would recommend, you're going to go ahead and choose the screen that you want to actually record. So for me, I'm going to choose the other screen where I'm recording actually this video also you want to make sure if you want to capture the cursor this is going to be helpful if you're doing things like tutorials you want to make sure you choose that and then click ok so right now we have our screen coming in the next thing we need to do is we need to add some audio so if you're screen recording chances are you probably need people to hear what you're saying as well so we're going to go ahead and click the plus sign you want to make sure you have a microphone either a usb microphone or a microphone that's connected to an interface and connected directly to your computer and then we're going to go ahead and add an audio input capture and then we can call it mic click ok and then under device you want to make sure you select the name of your microphone or your interface for me it's going to be the roadcaster duo click ok and right now as you can see if i was to record this screen people can actually hear my audio now if you want to take to the next level you can actually add a webcam in a small window to do that you can hit the plus sign and then add a video capture device click ok now i have my webcam connected via usb to my computer so i'm gonna go ahead and choose the name of my webcam under device and then for resolution you want to choose custom and choose 1920 by 1080 and then fps you can put at 30 frames per second and click ok you can actually make it very small and then put it somewhere in a corner where it's not gonna be blocking the information that you're gonna be talking about on your screen share once you're done you can actually lock everything and you want to make sure you go to settings and then go under video and then make sure everything is set to 1920 by 1080 for base and output resolution we're gonna go to output make sure output mode is set to advanced go to recording make sure recording path you select where you want to send your recordings and then next you want to go to recording format make sure you choose fragmented mp4 and then for video encoder you want to make sure you choose nvec h264 if you don't have it you can use x264 audio encoder leave it to core audio aac for encoder settings you can go ahead and choose constant qp under that you want to make sure you choose between 16 and 20 but the lower the number the larger the files are going to be for keyframe interval you can use two seconds or two s everything else Else, just copy what i have and then once you're done click apply and then click ok click start recording to be able to record your screen make sure you follow for more tips like this one